Hello, this is Dai Shu Bing from Team Best Fitting. I'm very happy to be here and to introduce my solution to you. It's a great pleasure to solve all kinds of problems on Kaggle. GSDC of this year was well designed, stable, and challenging. It's quite lucky to get the second place from this competition. I will introduce my solution in the following aspects. Challenges. Overview of my solution. Details methods of my solution and the results. Challenges. The first challenge is the data quality. It's noisy and it prevents us from finding optimal solution without considering all the time epochs on a track. The second challenge for me is that I'm quite lack of background knowledge in GNSS field. I have to spend much time to read books, papers, notebooks to understand the data and the solutions. Uh, as we know, this competition is held to find new and better solutions after next year's success. This means I have to find a new method or improve the winning solutions for next year's competition. So the third challenge for me is to design upon and improve next year's solution. At the early stage of this competition, I spend a lot of time on understanding the GNSS principles, the source codes of article and the competition data. I came to a conclusion that a solution optimizing the whole track globally is better. Finding optimal uh, estimation for each point locally is not stable and can be affected by noises of that point. If we can find a solution to a whole track globally, the noises can be reduced as the estimations must follow all kinds of constraints, such as geometry constraints, speed constraints, acceleration constraints. We may also extend the WLS and the Caramel field solution to take more points on a track into consideration. But it's not so easy to model all kinds of constraints. On the other hand, if we use neural network model or factor graph optimization method, uh, we can add the constraints easily. It's more efficient to do experiments. And personally, I'd like to solve all kinds of problems using neural network. And fortunately, the third place for the next year's competition is a neural network it boosted my confidence to use neural network to solve this problem. The ideas to design noises inspired me to find the more effective constraints for global optimization. So I decided to build my solution on it. Uh, here is the overview of my track model. It's a neural network model with two main modules, the track module and the phone module. They take all the points on a track as inputs 
and optimize them globally. The track module is a layer containing position variables. They are initialized by baseline results and updated using gradient descent algorithms. The outputs of the track module together with the data from base sites and the user receivers are fed into the phone module to calculate the losses. The blue boxes in phone modules are the nearest to calculate pseudo range loss, ADR loss, and Doppler losses. The outputs from the track module are the coordinates of a track. They are also be used to calculate the speed and acceleration losses. In this slide, we can see how the losses is calculated. The x1, x2 to xn are the state variables, including position variables from track module and the receiver's clock BIOS variables. Uh, as we can find, it's quite similar to the fact of the graph optimization method. From this slide, I will introduce how the losses be designed. Here I listed the equations to calculate the single difference of pseudo range. I think you are quite familiar with it. For example, with formula seven, we can solve the position and uh, clock bios by using WLS method. Okay, next slide. Now I will introduce how the pseudo range loss designed. The XB in this slide is the baseline result of a point on a track. The XU is the estimation of this point. We can find that there is a geometry constraint between these two points. This is the formula 8. It's a triangular relationship. It's worth to mention that if two points are close enough, the angle to the satellite can be assumed to be the same. Because the satellite is far away from the two points, so the two lines are parallel. The left part of equation 10 is calculated from observation variables. The delta U, delta R can be treated as variables to be estimated, named BIOS. Then we can get equation 11. Set the left part of equation 11 as the loss of pseudo range. And then we can get equation 12. OK. In this slide, I will introduce the constraints of ADR. In equation 13, Delta ADR is the delta for the ADR from 
time t to time t plus 1. The value is equal to the distance to the satellite between two abacles, as shown in equation 14. We can also find there are also uh, there are some geometry constraints between the two time up abacus. If we are familiar with double difference algorithms, it's easy to understand. In equation 17, we introduce a variable to model the bias between abacus. So we can define ADR loss in equation 18. And we can also define Doppler loss as shown in equation 19. Now I will introduce the shift model. After getting predictions from any model, the results can be adjusted by shift model. The target of the shift model is the difference between ground truth coordinate and the output of other model. As shown in this slide, the outputs from other models such as track model introduced before are converted to latitude and longitude format. They are used as inputs together with the base site positions, the receiver information such as phone name. The inputs are then be used to generate some features such as the direction, speed, acceleration, distance, coordinates of previous time epochs. The features are then fed into a simple PyTorch model with seven narrows of FC. Okay. Results. In this table, I listed the results of some important experiments. The first line is the results of track model and shift model before I found that the base side positions were not accurate. After using the correct base side coordinates, I found the public LB score of method 3 was better than the method 2. So I decided not to use the shift model on the results of track model. Unfortunately, I found the private LB score of method 2 is the best of the competition. Method 4 used two base sides for every track. Method 5 add acceleration smoothing loss to penalize unnecessary acceleration during the trip. Method 6 adds Doppler loss introduced before. When using shift model on predictions from method 7, and master line, the scores are improved too. The final submission is an ensemble of the methods introduced before. Okay, this is my solution to such an interesting competition. Great thanks to all of you. I hope my work will be helpful to you.